The following program was recorded at the 2018 National Medicare and Senior Insurance Product Sales Summit held June 12th in St. Louis, Missouri. To access other videos recorded at association conferences, go to www.medicaresupp.org forward slash library. The American Association for Medicare Supplement Insurance maintains the nation's number one online lookup for consumers searching for local Medigap agents. For details on getting listed, visit the association's website. Now, enjoy the program. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I want to thank everybody for sticking around with us today. We're going to get started with our next track. We're very pleased to present from Senior Market Sales, Craig Taylor, who's the Associate Director of Medicare Solutions with Senior Market Sales. Uh, he's been working in the industry uh, quite, quite some time. I'll let him uh, talk a little bit about himself and his accolades and his credits. But he's going to be talking about the 10 tips and tactics for success with your Medicare sales. So I suggest you get your pens out, pay attention. He's got some great information to cover with you. So without further ado, let's welcome Craig Taylor to the stage. Hi, everybody. Thanks. Um, so a little bit about me. I am one of the associate directors for Medicare Solutions with Senior Market Sales out of Omaha, Nebraska. Um, I split duties with another one of the directors for all of our Medicare carriers, whether it's MedSup, MA, PDP. Uh, I also have the honor of running the dental lines and all of our other ancillary products as well. Been in the industry about 27 years, um, so quite a while. So it's a pleasure to be here speaking to everybody today. Um, so I am going to go ahead and just jump right in. We're going to talk about today's topic, a little bit about MA. Um, what I'm seeing at my level that comes across my desk, over my phone line, in my office, uh, to help you see some more success with MA. All right. Um, so I'm going to start off with some things you need to know. First of all, everybody wants to know where are the clients? Do you have access to those clients? Have you looked into it? Does somebody already have that place locked up? We're going to talk more about that a lot later. What's the time commitment involved? I think that's uh, one of the bigger fallacies that I see, especially with newer agents getting into MA uh, and getting into Medicare. They don't realize it's, it's not a quick thing. Uh, it's going to involve a lot of repeat visits, and, and we'll cover that a lot more later as we get into more specifics about event locations and things of that nature. Uh, who has the best plan? We'll cover that in today's topics as well. Um, I got some interesting news about what changes are coming you may or may not be aware of. I think that was uh, very eye-opening, uh, exciting news. I was very excited about it. Uh, as well as knowing the rules of engagement. I know if you were in the, in the room before this, it was a compliance uh, seminar. So uh, we're going to continue a little bit on that same vein because it is so darn important, especially when you're dealing with MA and PDP. Uh, so let's jump right in and talk a little bit about where are the clients. Um, I have a lot of agents that do, I, I see more educational events over the last couple of years than I have sales events. Uh, the educational events have really skyrocketed. Um, lots of libraries being used for those events. Um, food banks, a lot of the pantries, kind of where you would expect. Uh, senior housing complexes, ALFs, now we'll talk a little bit more of those. I have a different slide. They're kind of a special little monster. Um, some clinics. Some interesting things have been happening over the last couple of years, and, and if you've been paying attention, um, on a bigger level, a lot of the carriers were trying to buy each other to make a bigger carrier. Uh, Department of Justice said no. All right, that would limit the choices for seniors in their health care. We're not going to let you do that. All right, so we can't grow laterally, one carrier buying another carrier making a bigger carrier. Uh, so then fine, what we can do is, from a carrier point of view, is uh, we can expand vertically. So what you're seeing is, is you're seeing supply chain dynamics from the carriers on the MA side of things where we'll buy the pharmacy, the PBM, Pharmacy Benefits Manager. Um, you've got the carrier there. Uh, they've got the network relationships all the way down to, um, you'll see basically from the bottom to the top, now they're buying specialty clinics. Example of some of those might be some things like Iora Health, uh, Oak Street Health, Kindred, uh, there's quite a few of them. Florida's got them all over the place. Very, very interesting models, um, which 
have come about after the ACA. You know, the ACA was about that thick, and only about that much of it was the actual under 65 Obamacare. The rest of it had something to do with Medicare in there. The interesting thing that came out of that was a lot of the measures on the doc fix. Uh, right now, when I go in and I see a doctor, personally me, under, under 65, <clears throat> I go in, I hand them my credit card, I pay my copay, she gives me the clipboard, I fill out the same three pages I'm in there. Every time I go in there, it's the same thing. Uh, and there's never the question on why are you here today, it's always other stuff, right? So I fill it out, I go up, I give it to her, she gives me the receipt for my copay, I go sit down. Um, about a half an hour later, thank God they have either a Cosmo or a Field and Stream on the table for me to read. Uh, the PA will call me. I'll go back into that hallway. In the if you'd like to watch the rest of this program, as well as benefit from watching all sessions recorded at the 2018 National Medicare and Senior Insurance Sales Summit, go to www.medicaresupp.org forward slash sell more for access information.